All right, I'm going to respond to a comment here. Um, KJV Truth Tracker. Brian uh, via Now the End Begins, Jeff Grider's website. Governor Janet Mills is trying to pass a law in Maine that would make it illegal to go to any public place without a mask. If it passes, the good citizens of Maine could be charged with a Class E crime and face a $1,000 fine or six months in jail. This is happening all over America as the end times spirit of Antichrist continues to rise. Here's the total article. Go there. I have it in another tab there. And, you know, this, this whole thing, I could see this thing coming back months ago. That's why I came out with the baloney virus thing. Um, if you haven't seen that video, um, saying this whole thing of the face masks and whatever else, how ridiculous it was. I mean, uh, again, it's, you know, I'll give the Lord credit in that it's a prophetic thing that, you know, he spoke through me prophesying this, this whole thing. It's social engineering, uh, making you wear a face mask that doesn't even make sense. But, it's just common sense too. You just look at the thing and you say, this makes no sense at all. I finally have the information for you out there that you can print out um, to fight this thing. So we'll get into that here as we continue. But um, here is the actual thing of governor's orders will require everyone to wear face masks in public places starting Friday. This is April 30th of this year. So um, it's, it's just weird because I'm seeing it at stores. There are stores here locally that require the face mask thing, and I just don't go in them. Um, but I've been looking to, to have something. Okay, we have to fight this thing. And of course, the spirituals there too. I get, you know, I saw people attacking me on that. Oh, you're just fighting physical wars and whatever. The rapture is going to happen, so it doesn't matter. I don't agree with that. Okay, if you're not standing against this stuff, then you are enabling the mark of the beast system to come in. Period. Um, you know, if, if some wrong or injustice is done to you, uh, politically speaking, you have to do something about that. And if the Lord opens a door to witness, then you take it to that step. Okay, but you don't just submit to whatever the government says. Hey, we're going to take away your rights. Hey, we're going to take control over your body, which your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. If you are saved and you don't have anybody telling you what to do with your body except for the Lord. So when the government steps in and starts to tell you things to do with yourself, they're crossing the line and saying, okay, we're getting into now an area that they shouldn't be in. And it's not even the government, really. It's these, it's idiots at stores. There's all these different stores and they have all these different regulations and whatever. And it just, and I see these people, you know, that they, they kind of look at you with that, you know, look in their eyes because they're, they're cutting off oxygen, you know, with their mask and they're kind of, their brains are starting to leave them. They're starting to become zombies and they, they give you this look of, why aren't you wearing a mask? Uh, okay, zombie, because I, I have brains left. You apparently don't. You drive in your car and with your mask on and your windows up and nobody else is in the car and you're wearing a mask. They should pull people over for doing that. All right? It's not safe, which I'll show you here, actually give you some science on that stuff. But, uh, you know, people don't confront me because I'm, I'm a pretty big guy and I don't think, you know, it's not too many people that want to mess with you know, me or whatever. I'm not a fighter or anything, but I'm not going to take it from people either. So, but another thing that you can check into on the whole vaccine thing, one of you posted this in the comments. Thank you for it. But uh, MRC-5 is a, is a diploid human cell cultured line composed of fibroblasts originally developed from, um, but it gets into the thing of, you know, it's uh, basically um, the tissue of aborted babies. So if you think that it's okay to put aborted baby tissues into your body, um, that are that you know that, that viruses are cultured on aborted baby tissue, and that God's just going to be okay with that, um, that's rather wicked. Uh, so, but just to show you the thing here again, this is the World O Meter, uh, World O Meters info coronavirus. Um, just to show you that again, oh, we have to do something. We got to wear the mask, brother, because it's it's dangerous. This coronavirus thing is killing people. Um, first of all, we have active cases, 3.8 million, um, are in mild condition, 98 percent. All right, uh, only two percent are in serious or critical condition. And there's a lot of reasons for that, which we aren't going to get into. But but look at this, recovered, closed cases, recovered, discharged. 91% of people that get this thing are recovered. They're better. They're discharged. It's not that dangerous. Okay. But notice 485,690 people have died from this. You say, well, see, that's really bad. That's a terrible thing. Um, look at other diseases. 
I'm just not sure if it's this one here. I'll tell you what, let me go back. Okay. Um, deaths this year, 28,431,000 and rising. 28 million people have died from all different types of things. 79,500 plus died just today. The uh, media is manipulating you. Health, 20 million abortions this year. And you're worried about less than 500,000 people dying of coronavirus? Deaths this year caused by HIV AIDS, 812,583. Almost twice as many people died of AIDS. Where's the shutdowns? Where's the panic and the whatever? See? Uh, deaths caused by, caused by malaria. Nearly the same amount of people died of malaria as died of coronavirus. And people have been dying from malaria for centuries. Deaths caused by cancer. 3.9 million, almost 4 million people died of cancer. But they didn't shut the economy down. Again, I've showed this in other studies. It's just insane. But uh, I did check out this uh, here. I do not recommend Scott Johnson. Be very careful with this guy. Uh, there's a lot of problems with this guy. Major issues with him. But right here is some really good facts and statistics on the thing of face masks. Because face masks, fight the face mask thing, and then a lot of this stuff is going to go away. All right. Uh, but right here, he's got some really good things. You know, from here, Tuesday, 31st of March, here down to this constantly wearing a face mask that causes you to breathe in your own CO2, carbon dioxide at a higher or higher rate than if you were not wearing a mask. Um, and it causes all kinds of things. He's giving the medical stuff, you know, Ford and whatever else. Um, okay, we need to fight this thing. Um, here is a mask exemption. He has a link to it right here. Uh, see where it is it where is it here um, he has a bunch of stuff here on the whole thing uh, yeah printable face mask exemptions examining the real reality we've been sold there's you can look at this stuff there's there are exemptions here that you can print this thing legal notice medical before be informed that I am exempt from all regulation and mandating face mask usage in public and it goes down through why and you know it basically makes a, a legal thing that if you go to go into a store or do something else and they say you need a face mask pull that paper out and hand it right to them say there you go um, get pulled over by police or something or, or whatever somebody you know hey what are you doing without a face mask hand them that form print it out okay um, and here you have uh, the Carta or the DACA Tribune, I guess, is what it is. Who backtracks on an asymptomatic coronavirus spread says much is still unknown. So all the lockdowns, all the stay-at-home, social distancing, everything else, because it's the coronavirus is now asymptomatic. You have a disease, and you might not know that you have a disease because there's no symptoms. So, but you have to. But it's dangerous. How dangerous is a disease if you can have it and you don't even know you have it? And you get over it and whatever else, but you can transmit it to somebody else. Huh? And now they're saying, oh, actually, we're not really sure about that, the World Health Organization. Earlier on Monday, Hugh officials said asymptomatic people aren't driving the spread of the virus, casting doubt on concerns by some researchers that the disease could be difficult to contain due to asymptomatic infections. Now, oh, well, it kind of turns out that we lied and and you know it's really not that dangerous and we're not really sure now if it is actually spreading between people that don't even have symptoms <laughs> yeah so um uh don't fall for this whole coronavirus thing but right there uh again please be careful with scott johnson please be careful but uh contendingfortruth.com you can go here and he has some really good information right here I'm going to be printing these out putting them on papers printing them out put them up on community bulletin boards get them out there um, the mass ex exemption right here print it out carry one with you somebody tries to say uh, you need to have a mask on
boom, hand it to them. As soon as they see legal notice, they're going to say, oh, whoa, wait a second here. Okay. We have to fight. That's the whole thing here. It's a fight against freedom. We have to, you know, the Bible talks about praying for those in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. We're not being able to lead a quiet and peaceable life with locks down, lockdowns and you can't do this and you can't do that. I mean, the, the 501c3 church buildings have already been taken over. There's literally articles coming out saying that they're not even allowed to sing hymns in these church buildings. So, well, let's just kind of be quiet. No, we can't be quiet. We have to fight. Right? So, there you go. Very important information.